Hurricane Hillary is headed our way and now is the time to prepare. Right now it's strengthening and moving north up the coast of Baja. As of this moment, it's expected to hit San Diego as a tropical storm Sunday night, bringing very wet and windy weather. Tonight we have team coverage. Jasmine Ramirez is out in the field with what you need to get done around your house now before the storm hits. And Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis has been tracking the storm's movements and timeline for days. Let's start with Carlene and what's happening right now with Hillary. There is definitely some progress when it does come with Hillary. Now we are talking about that strong storm. It has upgraded to a major hurricane. It is currently a category three, but you're going to see a difference when it comes to that forecast cone as opposed to earlier this evening. If you were keeping track, let's close in on it. So you're looking at a category three hurricane with Hillary right now, and it is tracking towards the west northwest at about 14 miles per hour, 125 miles per hour when it comes to sustained wind speeds. And is over 400 miles to the south of Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. It will strengthen over some much warmer waters. You're talking about some 80s and even 90s in spots when it comes to some of those sea surface temperatures. So that's why it's going to strengthen into a category four. So still being a major hurricane and strengthening to that by early morning on Friday. But here's the difference between the last forecast cone and the one you're about to see right now. So you're looking at a category three showing some signs of weakening as it makes its way closer closer towards the Baja Peninsula, and that's because those waters are cooler. But as it does interact with the Baja Peninsula, you're noticing a category one by Sunday. Earlier when we were looking at the forecast track, it had it as a category two right along our coastline on Sunday night. There have been changes and that's because it's going to interact more with land, at least according to the latest forecast cone. So that puts it back at a tropical storm, making its closest approach to us here in San Diego County. But regardless, it's a massive storm system, a lot of rain and some strong winds. And so we will continue to break down all the major headlines with that and of course keep you prepared. Uh, we'll go ahead and have more details and your complete forecast coming up. Jesse. Thank you very much, Carlene. Be sure to download our CBS 8 app to keep up with the latest forecasts and weather alerts directly from Carlene, Evan, Sean and the entire team. The app has up to the minute forecast and information you need to know ahead of our stormy weekend. Right now, the county is preparing for the worst. The city of San Diego's director of emergency services says lifeguards are ready for swift water rescues. Public works crews are also busy clearing storm drains. Now is also the time for you to start preparing. Officials suggest getting to the store before Sunday for extra food and supplies. The roads could be dangerous as the storms peak. CBS 8 is working for you to find out how you can get your home ready and protect your family. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez is live showing us how to get started. Jasmine. Yes, well, we are expecting just really strong winds. So one of the first things you can do is go ahead and head outside to your backyard or your balcony and start taking in loose things that will blow away. This includes items like bikes and especially umbrellas that can get caught in the wind and cause just a really dangerous situation. Hurricane Hillary is making its way north towards Southern California. The biggest impact in San Diego is expected Sunday night. So now is the time to prepare for the powerful winds and potentially record breaking rainfall the storm will bring. The normal amount of rainfall we get in San Diego for the month of August is 0 0.01 inch. We are calling for two to three inches of rainfall over a three day period. The National Weather Service says it's important to patch up leaky roofs, windows or sliding glass doors that water might come through. If you're prone to flooding, the county and Cal Fire are giving out free sandbags. You should also stock up on the essentials like water, flashlights, batteries, and even portable phone chargers. I'm definitely going to be make sure that I'm prepared. We talked to Kylie Hawks in the grocery store parking lot. She's getting herself ready, but says she doesn't think everyone else is. I noticed there's a whole lot of water still in the stores, so I don't think a lot of people know about it. I was expecting to go in there and find a bunch of it missing, but it looks like hardly anybody's touched it. So it's, I think it would be good to be prepared just in case. Remember to buy only what you need. Being prepared and staying in the know on the latest weather conditions will be key in keeping you and your family safe. Follow us on our website, weather.gov. Um, you can follow us on social media. And then make sure that we follow CBS 8 as well because you all are great at um, getting our message across as well. And just to stay on the safe side, it's a good idea to go ahead and get your shopping done and prepare your home by Sunday morning. Reporting live, Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8. 
Thanks, Jasmine. And once again, we remind you to stay with CBS 8 for all the updates on Hurricane Hillary. We will post the latest information on CBS 8.com. You can also follow us on social media or download our free CBS 8 app.